Welcome back to the blog guys. So today we're going to be doing a bit of inspection on the GT4 that just arrived. Um, as you can see it's pretty filthy. Um, it's in a good condition structurally. There's no rust and things like that so I don't have to worry but I don't think the previous owner did the maintenance um, as per plan as he said because it's pretty crap. That's the water. Okay, I don't think there's any antifreeze. I think he filled it with tap water. Um, maybe you can't see from this angle, but when we remove it, this, the mushroom filter is just a filter, but without the filter mesh. So it's the casing only. So we'll have to get a new filter element on there. Um, generally on top of the engine, it seems good. But whenever we go underneath, there's a dreaded oil leak from either the, the drive shaft or above the sump pan which as you can see is dripping onto the downpipe so i checked the oil before the video and it's down to minimum um seeing as the most i've done is drive this up my street um uh, we're going to fill some classic engine oil just some nice thick stuff just to kind of crank her over and see what's happening uh wipe the area down and see what leaks and then we'll take it from there so hopefully it's something simple if not it's going to be a full engine out and we'll have to do all the seals. I'm thinking it's the normal culprits on the 3S GT engine, and that's either your oil pump shaft seal, your crankshaft seal at the oil pump uh, on that end, not the rear end at the flywheel, the uh, obviously this end at the timing chain, timing belt. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see what to do, but with these engines, you have to actually take the engine and gearbox out in one and transfer a box, so we might have to leave that to later in the year, depending on other jobs that come up. But for now, let's get some oil in it. Let's give it a start and see what happens. Okay, guys, hopefully you can see this. I've given the area a quick wipe down. Still pretty crappy up there by the sump. Um, all around that sump area, there's your driver's side drive shaft. Um, it's really hard to tell. I hope it's not coming up. There's the bottom of the timing belt cover and the auxiliary belts and the crankshaft. It's hard to say, has it flicked up or has it dropped down or who knows, but I'm gonna hit it with some brake cleaner, see what happens. Okay, so right now we're actually using the cheapest of cheap motor oil, Halfords. End of the day, if you're gonna flush the sump, oil is oil. You need a new filter and decent oil when you're gonna run it. But for now, we're only turning it over in the driveway get it warmed up to temperature, check for any noises, things like that. So it doesn't have to be expensive when you're doing a flush just to get the oil through it and try and clean the system out a bit. Actually, the engine filter on these old Toyotas is really easy to access. It's on the top, just down by the dipstick, and you can screw it off and remove it. So it's brilliant. It drains down when the engine's cooled, um, and we fill oil, normal spot, top of the cam cover here. So, so far, I've filled the oil up, just gonna let it settle. And then now, we're gonna remove the cap and drain the coolant, flush it with some fresh water, and then drain it again and then fill it with distilled water and hopefully get rid of some of this muck that's in the system. I'm hoping it's not a sign of a head gasket, but again, let's start with the basics and something simple. It can just be years of abuse, not changing, um, old coolant, maybe he hasn't even put coolant in it, or he's mixed the wrong coolants together and that can give you a sludge as well. It's not oily, so I'm not thinking it's the head gasket. It's just dirty and it's old, so let's, uh, not jump to conclusions for now. Okay, so this is the coolant that came out of the GT4. It's not oily, thankfully, um, but when you hold it up to the light, I think it used to be orange, maybe? There's no sludge or anything, it's just kind of a brown orange water, so yeah, I think I might get lucky and it could just be it's never been changed. Pretty filthy, but we can take care of that. 
Okay, so I decided against flushing with uh, tap water, obviously because there's minerals and things in that, and if it heats up, I don't even want to take the chance of anything sticking to the water passages inside and affecting the uh, heat transfer later. So the only thing that came out of it was about four liters of deionized water. So I don't know, was there enough in the system? Um, whatever. So we're gonna let that settle, give it a wee turnover, and then bleed the air and then hopefully we'll get it off the ramp into the driveway, give it a wash, and then try and fix the horn. And hopefully that should be it. Okay, folks, so the second drain of the cooling system, again, no oil, but it's darker again. So I think we're gonna need to do another flush. Really don't know, might take a while, three or four, but four liters, four and a half liters every time. As you can see, it's quite, Brown and old.